surrounding the zone is really enough. If a powerful emission were to occur, we would... Listen, the zone has remained stable for years. Besides, we didn't establish the most advanced institution in human history without first guaranteeing its safety. As the head of the Scientific Institute for Research of the Chernobyl area, or Circa for short, I believe the wonders that we will bring to the world far outweigh the potential risks. How big are these risks exactly? <laughs> the zone reveals a whole new world. We can stick with the old one, fearing change. But tell me, do you want our descendants to remember us as cowards? Or as those who dared to venture forward to a new, better humanity? were evacuated. I remind our listeners that a similar incident happened in our region quite recently, ruining homes and livelihoods. However, city officials urge people to stay calm, assuring them the situation is totally under control. back there? Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. The zone is really raging today. See that? It was a hell of a blast. I can't remember one. So fierce. Are we uh, close? Uh, kind of. The central checkpoint could be on alert after the emission, but there's another way in. Crack in the wall to the left of the fault. Bugger off! Hope you didn't lose your secret artifact along the way. If it was outside the zone for too long, it will have lost its anomalous energy. <clears throat> but I've got this shiny metal thing to recharge it. One lucky activation, and we have a gold mine here. Sector 9, visual detection of the vault. I say again, Sector 9, visual detection of the vault. Show me what you found. What the hell is this? I've seen artifacts taken from the zone before. They always burn out and fall apart real fast. But this one? This one is not from the zone. Oh, I bet. Where'd you find it? In my... laundry basket. <sighs> Who do you think you're talking to, huh? You have any idea what this scanner cost me? If it's not an artifact, it's gonna blow us all to hell! I won't let my hard work come to nothing because of you. I won't let you push it down the shit up. This stone owes me a new home. We gotta move. Get to the scientist's bunker. Nehoda will explain how to proceed with the scanner. He's waiting for you. Good luck. Thank you. 
Give me a sit rep. Perimeter breached. Extensive damage caused by. Oh, fuck knows what. Copy that. Dispatching a response team. Investigate the scientist's bunker.
I don't think it'll be that easy, but I'll figure it out. So are the other scientists. Dead? Oh, God. We're screwed. Get out of there immediately. Stop freaking out and tell me where the data is stored. Find his laptop. The coordinates should be in there. Nagoda's dead. I'm Mr. Client. Whoa! That's a hell of a mess you got there, boys. Well, screw that smart-ass bastard. I never liked him anyway. Hold on a sec, Mr. Client. Did Herman at least tell you what to do with the coordinates? Remind me. Holy fucking cow. Will you let me eat in peace for once? All right, follow the coordinates and stick your scanner into the ground, and then back off. When it's all done, you pick it up. Got it? If not, that's your problem. I'm not a damn help desk. So long, Mr. Client. Do you have the coordinates? I hope you do. Things are about to get a little more complicated from here. 
Good thing it's been a walk in the park until now. First, find the detector. This is a mobile lab. The scientists ought to have at least one. I've already got a detector. You'll need to acquire an artifact to shield yourself from a scanner's radiation. If you don't, you might end up joining the Goda. How? Find an anomaly. After the emission, it shouldn't be that difficult. Then use the detector's signal to navigate it. If the stalkers have figured it out, I'm sure you can too. After that, attach the artifact to your belt and go plant the scanner. Just try not to get killed in the anomaly. That would be rather embarrassing.
Is uh, charging always this noisy? No, but that rock of yours is pretty unusual. Check the scanner, quick. Is it charged? Calm down. I've got some time left. Heading for the next spot. Solder's premium coordinates smell like a scam. His coordinates always work like a charm. But the emission could have thrown a wrench in the works. We'll find out soon.
Just one spot left. Did you hear me? Drop the damn scanner and come back right now! I've got nowhere to go back to, Herman. Over and out. Kind of anomaly. Quiet. I see the scanner. Tracing for anomalous activity in radio signals. Situation unclear. You inside. You to the roof. Move out. HQ, move back reporting. Come in, HQ. Damn it. Dr. PDA detected. Someone here! Oh, no. <laughs> Huh? Who are you? I'm your guardian angel. Here's a bolt. 
Why the hell would I need a bolt? Take a look around. Ah, oh, crap. Yep. Toss it into the anomaly, then while it resets, run like hell. Got it? Now go. Okay, I didn't really know, but I sure hoped you would. <laughs> How'd you get here without any gear? I was attacked while on a job. I got hit in the head, and when I woke up, I was in almost nothing but my birthday suit. You're lucky they didn't kill you right away. You should stop by Zalisa and check up with the doc, man. And talk to the bartender while you're there. See if he knows anything about your attackers. Settle some scores, didn't you? Shit. The timing couldn't be any worse. The bastard shot him at point blank. Then took everything, even the sensors. Fuck. Now the entire lesser zone is gonna have to clean up this mess. Why is your ass still here? Head over to Zalicia and keep your mouth shut. Unless you want both of us killed. Get him, Hassan! 
I'm hiding here! I wasn't really expecting any help. Come on over. Let's have a chat. Fuck them up pretty good, eh? <laughs> I didn't expect anyone to step in for me. That's rarer than Mama's beats around here. Normally, folks in the zone just walk past other people's troubles. They've got their own shit to deal with. You are new around here, ain't ya? What did those guys want from you? Ah, oh, typical thug stuff. My loot, my gun. Maybe my boots, if they're fancy. They are the scavengers of the zone. What else can you expect from them, eh? So, uh, you are new, huh? I am, to be honest. Yeah, I figured as much. But you have definitely taken out a few scumbags in your day. Thanks for having my back. I might be pushing my luck here, but could you lend me a hand with something else? All right, let's hear it. There's four of us at the boiler house, not far from here. Squint. Richter, Gloomy, and myself. Squint is the leader. Richter is his right-hand man. And we just joined Spa... Uh, a group. Squint and Richter took off somewhere in the morning. And then me and Gloomy got ambushed by those bandits. I, uh... uh managed to make a tactical retreat. But the bastards took Gloomy. I don't know what they are doing to him, but I doubt they are throwing him a party. We need to rescue him and make those thugs regret it. Gloomy will find a way to return the favor. How many of those guys are there? About five, give or take. I have seen you in action. You can handle them easy. And if your conscience bothers you, trust me, they wouldn't have spared you or Gloomy if the tables were turned. All right. I'll do it. For real? Dude, you rock. Don't worry, I won't just send you there empty-handed. I've got a stash close by. It's got everything you need. A gun, some ammo, the whole shebang. Whatever you don't use, consider it yours. Just make sure you've got Gloomy's back, all right?
Did you make it? The mutants didn't get you, did they? They tried. That's the zone for you. Take care out there. And, uh, try not to hit Gloomy, alright? He may be a son of a bitch, but he is still my bro. Sent you, Richter, or that asshole Zorik. You aren't hurt, are you? It's nothing. Those losers from garbage can't even throw a decent punch. The zone's not the same anymore. Even the damn bandits have gone soft. Jorik asked me to get you out of here. He asked you to wipe his ass, that's what he did. You think those goons were brought down here by the emission? Jorik lost a wad of cash playing cards in garbage, and figured he could hide out here. Well, the fucker wasn't completely wrong. They didn't get him. They got me! What you looking at? Expecting a reward? Check the pugs. I'm just glad they left me my suit. Wait a sec. They didn't take the detector! Those scumbags think they're too good to dive into anomalies looking for artifacts. Easier to shake down a loner on his way out. Assholes. You mean Jorik set you up? Absolutely he did. Jorik can miss a whole mission when he gets into cards. He won't stop until he loses his shirt and his underpants, too. It's no use blaming him, though. You wouldn't blame a flesh for grunting, would you? I wouldn't. But I might give him a good punch in the nose. I've already got a detector. Well, congrats. Now you've got two. Do I look like a department store to you? Fine, fine. I left my backpack in the cave. Go have a look. If you find anything useful, it's yours. Unless the bandits beat you to it, of course. Thanks for the help, stalker. But don't count on anyone standing up for you if you run into trouble. You'll be better off that way. All right, you sh 
stupid asshole! Get over here! Kumi! You have no idea how glad I am! Why don't you come a little closer? Let me get a better idea. Uh, I've got something I need to take care of, so... Why don't you take a breather and cool off? I'll be right back. Dumbass.
Can't answer your questions. I'm looking for solder. Nope. Talk to Gaffer. That's him over there. What do you want? Sit down and stay out of sight. Three of my men never reported back from their overnight patrol around the Lesser Zone. We found their bodies by the old bridge. Hey, soldier, over here. What do you call three dead wardens up the zone's ass? A good start. <laughs> <laughs> the traitor who goes by hamster is peddling this service weapon. It belonged to one of those wardens. He got it from Squint. Apologies, Captain, but Zalicia is a free trade zone. We have an agreement with Koshino. Where is Squint? The zone has its share of secrets. Who are we to meddle in its designs? Playing a wise and stalker sage, are you? Fine. Squint was there for sure. He finished off the wounded, and looted their bodies. Is that the stalker way now? I suppose it's not that simple. All right. If you won't tell me, others will. Seize them! Easy now. Nobody's going anywhere. If you don't want the innocent to suffer, find me the culprit. Well then, in times of war, the law falls silent. Hey, stalker. Must have been you here. Come over here. Let's have a chat. That's how we're all here in Zalicia. Us maniacs are gonna drink all my vodka in the street. If anyone asks, I'm at home. And busy. Anyone at all? Anyone. Don't buy into that whole dog and pony show, rookie. Gaffer's been uppity, cause sort of lets him. If Korshinov was here instead of him, we'd have been standing against the wall already. The captain prefers a more diplomatic approach. What is the ward, anyway? A force to be reckoned with, whether we like it or not. Personally, I don't, but I'm not happy about the emissions either. I'm not about to go out there and throw down the gauntlet. Gaffer needs to realize that sometimes you have to make concessions for the sake of your people. We already had to leave the cordon. If we leave Zalicia, where are we gonna go? So, who should I ask about Sadr? Try Zodov. The ward can find anyone you want, as long as you can cut a deal with them. 
And you're okay with their methods. Or you could ask Gaffer. Just give him some time to get to his house. He's an easygoing guy. He usually helps rookies out, but he's had to deal with a year's worth of crap today. See ya. Good luck. First drinks on the house if you need it. And I get the feeling you're gonna need it. I don't feel like running errands. Got anything good? You still smell like the mainland, tough guy. Feeling bold and audacious already, huh? All right. There's a guy, kind of like you, who owes me some coin. His name is Valik Lummox. Now I need my money back. What kind of man is this Valik Lummox guy? He's new to the zone, but he already made a name for himself. He's one sharp asshole, not afraid of risks. Always full of white plants. Kinda liked the guy. Thought he would go far. Well, he went too far. Got himself a new gun, and I'm still mopping about how to set him straight. How much does he owe you? Plenty. He failed to pay up after a wild night. For some supplies before that, too. And he doesn't seem to give a damn. Knows I'm not gonna make a fuss about it. It's not about the money, really. The kid needs to learn the ways of the zone. The sooner he learns, the longer he lives. Maybe. Sure. I can handle it. I saw him just a couple of hours ago. He headed north, towards the water tower. I don't want his blood on my hand, though. Just scare the kid, shake him down, and get my money. And that's it. 20% is yours. Sold us out, you hear me? The greedy son of a bitch sold us out! 